All right, so back to gene editing. This comes from another source called Alternet. I've never heard of this website, but what they have to talk about is intriguing to me. I hope that it brings some interest to you. If you're interested in it, it brings some new ideas and new concepts to you. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll know when I post new videos and go live and all that good stuff. For those of you who have subscribed, thank you. Welcome back. So there's been a lot of talk about gene editing and there are a lot of things that scare scientists about gene editing. I myself have some reservations about gene editing, including gene editing that would affect babies would I use it? Eh, maybe. <laughs> but it, there are a lot of scarier things other than gene editing out here. Okay, we got people running around with guns shooting up people in New Zealand. You know, we have people out here aborting babies and, you know, blaming men for it, getting pregnant because they strags, and then blaming the men that you got pregnant and then you decide to give up and just have an abortion. <clears throat> Let me, I digress. So, gene editing is a scary thing and i think it is that way if you don't know what it really entails what's really going on so there are two types of editing you can do you can edit somatic cells or germline cells somatic cells are of the body the soma and the soma is your your um, organs and tissues that you know tissues are just groups of or organs are just groups of tissues that have a specific function and that's all they do you know, cells for your stomach, cells for your prostate, cells for the breast, cells for the brain, etc. And the germline cells are ones that turn you into an organism that make you who you are, coming from the sperm and eggs. These are embryonic cells. These are totipotent cells. Uh, pluripotent cells are cells that we have as adult. Totipotent means they're totally, they have a total potential to be anything. So those are your germline cells. And what they want to do is prevent people from editing the germline cells, which makes sense because editing germline cells, now you're able to produce super soldiers, you're able to produce a highly efficient population of people. And based on the reduction of the population of people who are less or non, you know, or who are just less melanated. I could see them wanting to introduce germline editing into their population, into their group. So when you have skin cells, liver cells, eye cells, and heart cells, these are all somatic. And you, when you change the genetics of somatic cells, you have a less significant um, effect than you do if you change germline cells. So if you get a mutation in a liver cell, you may end up with more mutant liver cells as the mutated cell divides and grows, but it will never affect your kidney or your brain. So you will accumulate these mutations in somatic tissues throughout your life. Most of the time, humans never know it or suffer any harm because you have machinery that will take care of that mutation and you keep going on like nothing happened. This person writing the article is a geneticist who studies the genetic environmental cause of diseases and issues, birth defects such as cleft lip and cleft palate, and diseases of old age like Alzheimer's. I'm going to come to you soon with a video about old age. Uh, Michael Coleman on BGS's Hangout the other day brought up, uh, this was uh, last week, he brought up uh, David Sinclair who is a Harvard geneticists. I'm going to talk about aging a little bit later. So stay tuned to my channel to hear about that. Shout out to Michael for um, introducing that, that idea. I have heard of David Sinclair, but I didn't take him seriously. And, um, you know, maybe I'll look into his work more. So the geneticists have been following the gene editing news and they're very concerned. They have interest, but they're concerned as well. I think they're interested because they're already doing a lot of these studies and the concern is they can't be first a lot of times. So science is very competitive 
research is extremely competitive. Uh, we're mostly competing with China and Korea right now. Uh, we're also starting to compete with a lot of African nations because there are African nations where China and Korea are and they're merging and collaborating a lot more often now. So when you fix these faulty genes, you want to make the organism better. But editing the germline, creating babies who have these genes is a different, a different story because you have a lot of ethical issues that occur. And what they call like gene doping is where you're fixing the cells who might otherwise die from a liver disease, for instance. But you can't fix all the genes. <laughs> It, it's it, it, you can't fix all the genes in it in one person and when you fix all the genes in a baby who is otherwise healthy you have a higher risk proposition so this is why the recent announcement that a Chinese scientist had done that by creating um, babies who were gene edited by CRISPR editing the CCR5 gene you know this Delta 32 gene that created a, a, such an uproar with that so they're saying that the procedure, well, they think the procedure was safe. Um, and even if you know it's safe, gene editing of the germline would still catapult us straight into the designer baby controversies. BGS and Don Calypso have a video, I try to remember to leave a link to that, where they discussed designer babies. This was months ago. A uh, very good discussion they had. I suggest you check it out. So the main thing is fear and fear in my opinion comes from lack of knowledge and research but even though people are afraid it's really their imagination that that and the incorporation of hollywood movies that make people think oh they could they could do this and they could do that well yeah they could are they you know the question is not can we the question is are we it's not a matter of can we do the gene editing is the question of are we doing the gene editing I will say yes and no there are some scientists who say yes because they are doing it and they know those who are and they'll say you know no because there are some people who refuse to step into that arena um, this does cross lines with regenerative medicine this also crosses lines with um, uh, what is it? Um, drug development, AI being used to develop drugs. I'll come to you with an article about that. Shout out to the Black Brain Trust and um, a lot of the work that they're doing with tech. I wasn't able to catch their stream last night. I'll try to remember to leave a link to that or put it somewhere in the cards or the end screen on this video. But you all let me know what you think about the future of gene editing and how you think that that could become you know where we're developing or <laughs> creating x-men or creating some type of uh, super human uh, race or, or group but I'll leave it at that you all let me know what you think in the comment section like comment share subscribe share the articles check out some of the channels that I put uh, cards for or description uh, links for the description um, check out the end screens and go sub to some of these um, channels that I'm putting out I don't put the video links and cards up there for nothing I put it there for you to go sub to these individuals because they have a lot of good information to provide you I'll leave it at that you all let me know what you think and I'll talk to you soon